Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a super easy and delicious meatloaf. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe. So you're obviously going to need some ground beef or hamburger meat. And these are the ingredients that I add to the meat to make the meatloaf. So I use salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and you can add as much or as little as you want. Alan likes a lot of garlic, so anytime I cook, I'm using a lot of garlic, but you don't have to use as much as me. It's all up to you and, you know, what kind of flavor you want, I guess. If you want a lot of garlic, go ahead and add it. If not, don't add as much. I also added some Worcester sauce. Don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, add some of that. Then I added some Italian style breadcrumbs and I also added an egg, but off camera, I added an extra egg, more Worcester sauce and more breadcrumbs. So you kind of just add as you go until you get like a very moist like consistency because you don't want a dry meatloaf. So yeah, I guess it all, it's all going to depend on the amount of meat you have and just add as you go. I also added a good squeeze of sour cream and this is what it looked like. Gross, right? Now we're going to put this mixture into this glass baking pan and just form it into like um, a little loaf even though Mine ended up looking just like a huge hamburger patty because I didn't have a lot of meat to fill out the whole pan because I was only cooking for me and my husband. And then cover it up with tin foil, preheat the oven, 375. I cooked it for about 30 minutes, but then I kept checking it and adding more time. So depends on how much meat you have. You're just going to have to keep checking it and see if it's done. You know what I'm saying. So there's my big hamburger patty. Gonna put that tin foil on and throw it in the oven. So for my sides, I made boiled baby red potatoes and also some French style green beans. So basically for the potatoes, you're just gonna slice them in half um, or how, slice them however you want to. Boil them in a little bit of salt water. Just put a bunch of water and then add a little salt. Boil them until they're completely soft. So in my green beans, I'm adding garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. And you know I'm adding some butter because butter's amazing and everything is better with butter. So listen, I know a lot of people use tomato paste or tomato sauce or they make whatever kind of tomato e topping and they put it on their meatloaf but where I come from girl you just use ketchup and yes I'm using off-brand ketchup it's just as good okay just a little cheaper um but yeah so just cover your meatloaf well actually make sure your meatloaf is done take it out of the oven make sure it's done cover it in ketchup make it look like a birthday cake with ketchup on top and then put it back in the oven so it can like really cook on there once you check your potatoes and realize they are soft and ready, drain them, then add some butter, salt and pepper, a little garlic powder. And don't forget to check out the description down below because I'm going to put all the information in there because I'm not really good at giving instructions like this. So just check the description. I'm going to tell you everything down below. So everything is done now and we are ready to eat and this is my husband's plate and this is my plate and yeah, we're going to eat now. Hey, that was in your mouth. Right? What, the meatloaf? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, yeah. Mmm, delicious. 